Hello guys and welcome back to today's video on how to fix Netflix error code UI8003. This Netflix error is associated with a variety of streaming devices including Amazon Fire TV, Roku, Blu-ray disc players and smart televisions and game consoles. What causes Netflix the error UI8003? When Netflix crashes, you might see a message on your screen that reads Netflix has encountered an error. You try in, in X seconds code UI8003. This Netflix error usually indicates that there is a problem with the device's Netflix app. For example, the cache data stored by the app could be corrupted. So, how to fix this error? These problems can usually be solved by refreshing the information stored on your device. Some general things you can try to fix this uh, Netflix error code include shutting down your device, clearing the Netflix app cache data, and reinstalling Netflix. So for the first step, restart the streaming device. In some cases, fixing the error code is as simple as power cycling your streaming device. This involves completely shutting down the device and then unplugging it. You may need to leave it unplugged for a while, maybe from 20 to 30 seconds and sometimes up to 1 minute for this one to work. If your streaming device has a sleep mode, make sure to shut down the device completely. Sign out of Netflix. As the second step, in some cases, Signing out of Netflix and then signing back in is enough to refresh your data and clear this error. If you have trouble signing out of Netflix on your device, you can do it through the Netflix website. Go to your Netflix account page and select from account here and select sign out of all devices. This signs out every device that you tied your account to. You will need to reconnect or sign in to each device separately. And for the last and the third tip, clear the Netflix app, data or cache. Because some streaming devices allow you to clear locally stored data without uninstalling the Netflix app. For example, you can clear the cache on your Fire TV device from the system settings. And that's it for today's video. Thank you guys for watching this tutorial on how to fix the UI code error and see you soon